All right, what's up, everybody? We are back with Steins Gate. This is going to be something a little bit special because, of course, we're not quite starting with Steins Gate Zero yet. I am now going to be watching episode 23B, which, um, yeah, for me, this is the thing. For you all, I'm sure that the transition here is quite seamless. We just wrapped up Steins Gate, and boy, what a fantastic 24 episodes it was. I absolutely loved it, of course. Here's the thing. I myself have taken a bit of a break, so it's been a few weeks, actually, since I wrapped up the show. I mean, <laughs> I, can, I can say the same things that I've repeated a million times while watching it, but the best way to describe how much I was into Steins Gate is by simply, yeah, telling you once again how here I was just binging through that show and completely getting ahead of myself. Even the fact that I got to take a couple weeks off here means that I finished it a couple weeks earlier than it was finished on Patreon. And normally that doesn't ever happen. I just watched all of these shows basically as I put the edits up uh, over there. But with Steins Gate, I was just too into that. And I, I, I noticed it already from the beginning because, you know, when I started off with the show, yeah, it's funny because thinking back about it, that first half is not even the most eventful necessarily, right? And that's what everybody prepared me for at the time too. Like, oh, it's going to start a little bit slow. Just stick with it. It's going to get better. But I was into it from the start. And it, it was mainly, it was those characters. It was their mannerisms. Um, just the super varied cast that we were dealing with and how you, you felt part of that group. You really did. All of their inside jokes constantly. The amount of time you would simply spend inside of Okarin's room. Um hanging out with them, doing the experiments at first, right? And that was such, yeah, like that was such a great time. I find the first half to be just as good as the second one, in my opinion, because it's like the second half wouldn't have nearly had the kind of impact that it did if the first half didn't do such a great job at making you actually care for these characters. And so, <clears throat> you know, that's the best bit of credit that I can give to Steins Gate. And that's why I was so into it from the get-go, why I literally... um yeah, was completely hooked to it from start to finish. And it's, you know, it's, I guess, getting ahead here. Um, uh, yeah, before we 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 start with, with Steins Gate Zero then and now to watch this alternative episode. That's what I will say I'm a little bit not necessarily concerned about, but curious for sure is like, okay, is Steins Gate Zero still going to have that same impact? Is it going to feel like a worthwhile addition to the show? Because I'm like, I'm very curious to see what direction they're going to head into with the story. I know that, you know, episode 23B here, which we're going to watch, beta, uh, it's actually called. It's kind of, from what I've been told, actually, the, the episode will start off super similar to what it was. But then the last 10 minutes is going to kind of diverge, I guess, right? And so that divergence that we're literally going to create is going to set up Steins Gate Zero. So that's what I'm excited to see um, what that means. But But again, it's like, okay... Yeah, what does that actually mean, right? I remember from episode 23 that this is, of course, where we went back with the time machine to the original first episode. That's where we finally saw then how it played out um, initially, right? With Okarin accidentally stabbing Mark Sakurasu there, killing her and um, basically setting everything in motion. Everything went to shit there and that's where the papers... Um, um, yeah, didn't get... Uh, well, they, they they didn't burn in that, uh, in that plane accident or whatever, right? And so... That's why Russia got their hands on it and World War III was started or something like that. So <laughs> that's basically what the storyline was and everything failed, essentially, right? That's why they obviously then went back in the last episode, 24, to, um, uh, yeah, to, to fake that whole scene. So that Mark Sakurisu wasn't actually uh, stabbed, it wasn't, uh, but Okarin still saw her get stabbed, supposedly, right? But what he actually was looking at was an unconscious Mark Sakurisu with the pool of blood from Okarin himself laying there on the ground so that way we made it all work of course the the upa we switched around as well to uh choose like a green one that didn't get picked up but a metal detector and all that stuff it was awesome but uh so happy with the way it ended that's what, that's what i mean to say it's like okay now we're gonna get something a little bit alternative i guess we're just gonna kind of branch off and do something different now while this ending stays intact and eventually we will i assume sort of get back to it i guess with the finale but uh off steins gate zero but but yeah i mean i don't know i'm doing too much rambling i feel but <laughs> i'm i'm just that's what i'm saying i'm excited to uh, uh to see what that divergence looks like and i know that 23b is supposedly like essential essential viewing if you want to understand where steins gate zero then picks up so 
yeah with that being said guys i think we're just gonna get started here with that episode like i said the first half i think will be just the same thing so i'm, I'm gonna watch it once again just to you know get caught up with it i guess but then we're gonna see where it branches off and i'm excited for it and after that of course i'm gonna get started with steins gate zero uh, which i will be doing here myself straight away after i finish this episode so i already can't wait for that but Without further ado, guys, if you enjoy my Steins Gate reactions, then of course, well, this is the thing. You can't just watch the next eight episodes. I've actually expanded early access over on Patreon. You can now watch the next 12 episodes already. What does that mean? We will be 12 episodes on the way with Steins Gate Zero over there. So if you enjoy my reactions here, you can support me over on Patreon, which is linked on top of the description. And yeah, watch already the entire first half of Steins Gate Zero alongside with me, of course, uh, as well as full-length reactions if you want to see me react to the episodes in their entirety. With that being said, let's get into episode 23B of Steins Gate. Yeah, I remember this is how it started. <laughs> <笑>いや、しかおるまんこ。私は早い。私と一緒に来て。この<笑><笑> Yeah, literally by saving him. Because that's the same thing that kicked it in motion. <laughs> <laughs> Which, you know, he called that himself. Oh, I love it. Yeah, man, I got Mayuri all wrong in the beginning of the show, thinking that she'd perhaps even be jealous. When she's just all good. I, I'm so glad about that, man. Hmm. Interesting, actually. Yeah, they had to time that one. Exactly right, as well. Like, she wasn't supposed to see it, obviously, right? Yeah, they had to arrive, like, literally moments before she got stabbed. <laughs> it's actually genius. I never considered that, but like Mark Sakurisu obviously could never find out about this time machine, couldn't have seen it. Yeah, because this is right when he was going up, right? Yeah. That's where he saw it, I assume, right? I mean, this is what I wonder about, though, but it's like, is Maxikurusu still going to get stabbed here now? Surely we're not going to treat that as canon, right? I don't know if she's in Steins Gate Zero. Yeah, it seemed important. <laughs> I 
I feel like I should have been able to figure out that the teacher was still going to come back at some point, that it was her dad, you know? It always seemed like he still had a role to play. Yeah, I'm like very curious how this scene is going to play out now. I think we're about halfway through the episode now, so this is where things are going to start changing, I guess, but... He's like genius, I can rip this. Use it for myself, show how smart I am. Damn, man. How dare you call it stealing? Yeah, what else is it then? This guy, I, I do wonder, like, why this dude is this twisted? <laughs> Was he that pissed off by Mark Sakurasu's intelligence over all these years, you know? I, I'm really curious, like, is it still gonna happen now? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's about to, yep, this is how it happened. Yeah, very nice symbolic red line. <laughs> it's not though. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Or are we perhaps gonna try a different method now to save her? What's 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 the difference gonna be? I'm still trying to figure it out right now. Maybe this is where it begins. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he was in complete disbelief about that. It's funny because I kind of saw it coming with that scream and stuff already in episode one. Which I always thought was his own. I'm honestly not sure if this is exactly how it played out anymore. I think so, though. Oh, shit. You shouldn't force him. Well, he got the message from his future self originally, right? This definitely did not, this conversation did not happen like this. Wow. Oh 
Oh my god, this is heavy, dude. <laughs> Jesus, how long? <sighs> wow. Jesus, all the memories or what? Where is he right now? Oh, uh, okay. He even put his lab coat off, you know. <laughs> it's real shit when he does that. Damn, I actually not expected him to proceed like this <laughs> where everything went to shit. <laughs> What the fuck is happening? It's all distorted. もう<笑> お、どうした明日急だな。どうせ数合わせなんだろう。ま、いいや。行くよ。あ、それじゃ。大学生って思っていた以上に忙しいな。オッケー。I'm <笑> trying to follow. <laughs> Did they did he simply try and get over it? I guess so, right? But then that means that this is the world line where World War Three is eventually still gonna happen. It's like nice and sad at the same time, though, you know? Yeah, exactly. Nothing's changed. <laughs> wow, that's actually it. That's crazy. That's not how I expected it to go at all. But it's kind of fascinating, nonetheless. Okay. Wait, he just saw that on the screen? Uh, <laughs> that what the hell that still didn't tell me what that seemed like she was some kind of virtual assistant but i don't know if i uh interpreted that right at all okay yeah i was actually a little bit surprised by how quote-unquote uneventful i guess that um um that divergence was when you really think about it it was just essentially okarin giving up not bothering to give it another shot Mayuri very much encouraging him, uh, well, not to, 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 to go ahead with it nonetheless, but rather to just say like, yeah, it's okay, you know, don't put this burden on you anymore. And even uh, telling Suza the same thing, right? And it's like, man, I, uh, 
yeah again i could sort of naturally tell already where uh, uh where i think the difference started to 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 kick in even though i hadn't gone back to actually watch episode 23 before i started with this but i actually did do that right after and then i noticed that like okay yeah because even Mayuri has different behavior there and that's what i found uh, interesting is that they see they they get this um video sent to them about what what sets into motion world war three and you know the everything with the upa that i talked about <laughs> not the, or you know uh triggering the the metal detector and all that stuff and that's where they realize what's about to happen and that's also where they then get the the video message from uh Okrin in the future and it's when i realized that i had to quickly like i did look up a quick synopsis or whatever uh which didn't have any more information so that was nice but like it said one thing there and i realized like oh of course i should have realized this by myself but like obviously what this is is like this failed Okrin now is the Okrin that eventually goes to send that message, that video message to Okrin in the past. Well, Okrin now, during this episode, you get what I'm saying, right? <laughs> so this timeline is the one that will simply be continued. And this is where Okrin is eventually going to make that. I think it was a new technology that they used then, right? To send the videos because they couldn't do that before. Um, uh, movie mail, I think it was even called. So now you don't have demo anymore, which was of course very limited. It's was just limited to like text text messages um with a certain amount of characters now you could actually send video files so this is something that he develops over time i don't know it makes me wonder then like oh are we going to see him actually develop that in steins gate zero i kind of doubt it i feel like steins gate zero is probably gonna you know still take place with the same characters at the same age and stuff whereas again the ocarin that sent the video file was already i think 30 years old or something it was said right at least 15 years older i'm not sure exactly how old ocarin um was anymore during the the main show but like yeah so i again it's like okay he's eventually going to go on to make that that movie mail but um uh and that's what what gets us to fix ultimately the whole situation and why steins gate could come to a happy ending after all which was very nice but then yeah where we pick up now is like okay steins gate zero um okrin is just still going to college apparently and he's living a relatively happy life it seemed after he sort of got over it i guess i i assume what it was meant to show is that there was a whole process of him trying to yeah i i don't know they they focused so heavily on like him just laying on that couch in his room and um that's where time seemed to have sort of passed by a little bit for him to you know go back to his regular old self and even Mayuri was like happy with the way he was doing at that point. So that it 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 had me surprised. That's all that I will say. It, it, again, it was like relatively uneventful. Not much happened, but that was the whole point of it, I guess. Right? He just moved on. He had to. He was forced to. This is the same timeline that's eventually going to set World War Three into motion, but that's still years away. Um, it is the same timeline where he is going to send that, like I said, that video file to himself. So there's still a lot to come. But I don't know if it necessarily is important for them to get to that any more than during steins gate zero because it's like okay we know it's going to happen there so i still wonder if steins gate zero is going to be connected to it in that way or if it's just going to be a side adventure at this point i really um well i don't think it can be a side adventure simply for the way that it ended with the after credit scene where he sees marcus akurasu now that i think about it on the tv there and i don't know what that was about either where she just goes like hi i'm marcus akurasu nice to meet you this and that it's it was like i was looking at some kind of virtual assistant <laughs> you know in some kind of uh yeah like game or uh i don't know some some other software so i have no idea what that's about but um probably should have done some thinking you know on the spot uh <laughs> you know what that could have been but I, I i well i didn't at least in preparation for this review so i'm gonna try and still do that before we get started with Steins gate zero but uh, guys for now that was my reaction to episode 23b i hope you all enjoyed it of course if you did you can already watch the next 12 episodes straight away over my patreon page which is going to be linked on top of the description will be 12 episodes into Steins gate zero over there you can catch up on my reactions right now along with of course full-length versions if you want to see me react to the episodes in their entirety with that being said i want to thank you all a lot for tuning in and i look forward to seeing you back in the next episode